Hello and welcome to paper two of the June 2014 exam. Um, to find the data files that you need for this, my students, um, these are now on YouTube and students across the world click on the link for the description at the bottom um, and it will take you to the Cambridge website and just download the files for June 2014. Okay, so let's get started. Um, as I previously said in other papers, um, if at any point you want to pause this video and give things a go yourself, please do. Um, if not, work alongside with me. Do not just watch these videos and think that you're taking in information because you're not. You will be bored senseless. Okay, so make sure that you either are working independently and watching the videos afterwards to see if you've um, done the right thing or not or work alongside me okay let's get cracking right you're working for an activity company called Tawara Adventure Centers um, sounds familiar from 2012 you are going to perform some tasks with this company open a file J14 evidence RTF now I've got the files here um, J14 evidence right and what this file does is unlike the other exam papers where you had to set up your own evidence you can see that this is already done for you and if you've done the 2016 specimen paper um, you'll see it's the same thing okay so we're going to leave that file um, here just minimize it and it's there whenever we need it so um, using a suitable software package load the J14 flyer RTF oh sorry hang on I've missed something haven't I so it says make sure your name center number and candidate number appear at the top of this page that's obviously a header double click up here so I'm just going to put name candidate I just make my candidate number up because obviously I don't have one and I don't know what my center number is okay done right so that's going to appear at the top of every page right now next thing so it says save the evidence in your work area as j14 evidence followed by your candidate number so j14 evidence and your four digit candidate number okay so I'm just going to save this in my past paper file for you guys you will have your own area because I should imagine well my school and in particular but for the other students that follow these around the world I should imagine your um, class is something similar so I'm just going to go to my documents and I've got a past papers folder I'm just going to save it in there Oops, sorry, year 11, gone blank for a second there. Right, so you know it's J14 evidence, we know that. So we keep that bit and imagine this is my candidate number, okay? And I'm just going to simply save it here. Now, always make sure you update saving your files as much as you can because although I should imagine every school is going to make sure their network is top notch, everything's working fine, they're going to double check everything, things go wrong. For example, one school I was working in, in the middle of one of my lessons, the power went off and it wasn't planned and it was because there was roadworks outside and they accidentally drilled through our cable. Okay, so things happen, all right, and plus there can be power cuts in areas. Right, so you're going to edit an information sheet about Tawara Adventure Centers and using a suitable software package, load the file J14 Flyer RTF, which is here. Make sure you always enable editing, guys. No gold bars. All right, so enable editing. So it says enable editing, enable content. Make sure you always do that. No gold bars as a rule. Okay, I'm just going to minimise that file, and this file going to have it working alongside me. Right, so you can see that um, this is going to need editing. You can see it's probably not even the right size. Okay, so the paper size looks really weird. Okay, so like if I go to um, layout and I go to size, 
Okay, you can see at the moment it's on letter, all right? But we're not going to change anything until tell it, it tells us to. So it set, says set the page size to A14, sorry, A4 orientation portrait. Then place screenshot evidence of the A4 page setting in your evidence document. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to page setup. I'm going to set page size as portrait. And then it says paper. And I'm going to select um, A4. Okay, now this is obviously going to need two lots of screenshots. So there's different ways you can do this. Like, for example, go to here, orientation, select landscape. Okay, um, but actually, I'm going to do it from here because I think this could be um, better evidence. Okay, always print screen, never use the snipping tool. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my evidence file. You can see it here. Press OK on that so I can go further. You can see it's here. Okay, it doesn't matter how many screenshots you do, as long as the evidence that you've done is sufficient and it works. I'm going to crop this bit out here because we don't need it. There we go, done. Then I'm going to go here and back to page setup, and I'm going to go to paper paper size and i'm going to select a4 and that is my evidence there not the drop down menu and you highlighting it that's your evidence because they can already see it selected and they can see the width and they can see the height print screen once again press ok and and i'm going to paste And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to text wrap and I'm going to select tight so I can just move that up a little bit. Okay, so I haven't cropped that too much. They can see the, um, the document in the background and also they can see the time and the date at the bottom of my um, screen. Okay, so um, all of that is quite important. I don't think they specifically look for it, but teaching previous exam boards that I taught in the UK, they did look for that kind of evidence all the time so I'm just kind of used to that being in my mindset okay so I'm going to minimize it well I'm going to save this so every time I do this I'm going to press save it takes two seconds it doesn't hurt it only does good oh, these are overlapping each other now now press save right tight both of them on tight there we go so I can move them beside each other, or you can move them top and bottom together. Okay, here we go. Save. There we go, and that's better. All right, so that's done. All right now, it says set the top and bottom margins to 2.5 centimeters, and left and right margins to two centimeters. And again, they're going to want evidence of this. So just simply go to um, oh sorry, margins is here go to custom margins and as it says 2.5 centimeters for top and bottom so top and bottom done and then two centimeters for left and right and again they want screenshot evidence for this so I'm going to press OK I'm going to go back to margins, so I forgot that disappears, and you can see it's already set, so press print screen, press OK, go to your evidence document again, and it's only one screenshot for this, and I'm just going to crop a little bit. If you don't need to crop anything, I wouldn't sit there and waste time cropping and making sure you get everything perfect, and also, definitely, I would advise cropping out so all you see is this okay now some examples that I've used previously in the UK would argue that this could come from the internet so make sure please that you are sensible about your cropping all right so I would just
I will just leave that so they can see that the document once again in the background and the time and dates there. Okay, so don't spend a whole lot of time cropping. In fact, if I had this on full screen, I wouldn't even bother cropping at all, to be honest with you. Save, minimize, let's go to the next one. Okay, so um, save the document with your new name in your work area. Make sure it's saved as the format of the software that you are using. Okay, so just save it with a new name in your work area and that's it. I'm not going to, okay, but you will for your exam. Um, now make sure it's a sensible name. In fact, I will save it actually. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save as. Now it doesn't specify a name. So I'm going to put this into my work area. So I'm going to imagine my work area is the past paper exam area. And anyway, let's see what the fly is about. I think it's activities, isn't it? So I'm going to call it activities fly. Okay. All right, so past papers, activities, flyer, okay? Um, don't give it a silly name or anything along those lines or something stupid, something fashionable, a sensible name, please. Um, and I'm going to save this as a Word document. Done, okay? Um there we are. Okay, so let's move on. Right, it says, um, place in the header your name and today's date on the right. So your name on the left and today's date on the right. So here's the header. And I'm going to select the header with the three columns. Okay, <clears throat> so my name. Can I delete that? Press print screen instead of delete. Then here, I'm going to put date and time. So it just says today's date, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, done. You could even select the day and the date if you wanted to. Okay, in a footer, automated file name and path left aligned. So they want to see that you've actually saved this. That's what they want to see. And if there's the path, they're obviously looking for the um, the name that you saved it as. Okay, that's their evidence. So they're not asking for print screen evidence. All right, so footer. I'm going to select the three blank columns again. Okay, so it says automated file name and path left align. Okay, so quick parts field. <clears throat> And scroll down no, it's just dating time there so I'm going to scroll down for file name it says file name oh, no. file name there we go <clears throat> okay so now they want the path Okay, so for the path, I'm just going to press into at the bottom there. And I'm going to go to document info and I'm going to go file path. So that's evidence of what I've called my flyer. And I can see that I saved it as a document because it did, you know, so it even shows you the type that you saved as. Okay, because it did say save the document name work, make sure it's saved in the format of the software you are using. Well, I'm using Word, so I'm going to save it as a document. And where exactly I've saved it okay right so one more thing now because this is going to stop soon so it says um, your candidate number and center number right aligned so here I'm going to type my candidate number sorry and center Right, okay, click on part two for the rest of the exam.